What's up everybody, it's RT Chris here and uh, I got a short little intro for you guys today and a short video. Uh, I didn't post this when it happened because I was kind of heartbroken and uh, I had a lot going on, had a lot on my mind and it didn't like occur to me to go ahead and push it through. And that's one thing I gotta get better at. And uh, But anyway, uh, after this intro, you guys will see that I wrecked my car, but this was from uh, July. I'd only had the car about two months. I was coming home, you know, from out of town. I was fishing. As y'all can see right here, there's one of my fishing poles uh, that I keep in my car almost all the time in case I decide to go. Uh, I was coming home from fishing one night. It started raining, and so I packed up, hit the highway. And uh, when I was on the highway, went to switch lanes, and my car fishtailed on me, and I ended up hitting a construction sign. It completely jacked up the front passenger fender, snapped the wheel off, messed up the suspension. And it took about a month for me to like get it all uh, like fixed and all that. Uh, but it's better now. Like I've actually added some mods to my car, like visual and stuff like that. And uh, gonna be adding a lot more stuff here soon. But anyway, uh, yeah, if you guys could like this video, you know, share it, whatever. If y'all are new to the channel, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. This honestly broke my heart because I had only had the car two months, like I said, and, you know, a charger, you know, a V8 charger is like my dream car. Other people have dream cars that are, you know, Lamborghinis, you know, McLarens, yada, yada. Just give me a V8 charger, you know, the Hemi, Scat, or the Hellcat, it don't matter which one. But uh, anyway, guys, here's the video. Uh, it's it's pretty fucked up. It, it ended up costing me close to six grand. For, to fix everything, fix the fender or get a new fender, get it painted, fix the uh, suspension, all that stuff. And I also had to buy a new transmission pan and put that on myself. But anyway, here's the video, guys. Okay. Okay, guys. As y'all can see, no damage to the body on this side or the wheel. No damage to the uh, wheels, the glass over here. Like I said, just missing the glass to my mirror right there. Here goes a dent from, I guess, when the... Uh, Construction sign flipped over and hit and all that. And then here's the bend in the, uh, here's the bend in the hood. There's no damage to the front end, which is a miracle. Uh, there is no damage to the door over here or the wheel. Uh, the only damage on this side is the skirt. But yeah, here is the major damage. That fender's jacked up. And then obviously the wheel and all that stuff. Here's the wheel itself. It snapped off, the control arm snapped off, you know, the ball came loose and then snapped off in those two places right there. And the rotor broke completely too. But the, the good thing is it's getting fixed Monday and uh, uh, should have it back within a week or two and it'll be running like new. The only other like damage that may need to be fixed is there may be a slight uh, transmission leak under the car, as y'all can see the puddle right there. But that's like been since yesterday when, when they parked it and I jacked it up. So there's a leak, but I'm pretty sure it can be fixed. Uh, but anyway, as y'all, like it still runs, like it still cuts on, you know, sounds good. You can hear where the hole is. You, you can actually see the hole on the muffler right there above my finger. It, you can just barely see that little black hole right there. But anyway, I'll start it up for y'all. Let y'all hear it. It still, you know, sounds good. You can, only thing is you can, you can hear the muffler, but. Yeah. Yeah, that, that loud noise you hear, that's the muffler. But other than that, car is fine. Like I say, it'll be fixed in a week or two and it'll be ready to go.